Hi folks, this is Kevmac1982 and welcome to RimWorld Alpha 13. I did start another series of RimWorld Alpha 13, however, I think going with Randy Random and on Rough was a little bit too much too soon. I only started playing the game in Alpha 12 and I didn't have that many, I only had a couple of games of it really, and I didn't, I got one time into the ship and out of here. So I think it, you know, I need to to actually play the game a bit more before I go to Randy Random and on Rough. So what I've chose is Phoebe Chillax on Rough. So you get a bit more time to basically get things ready between the different raids and whatever else. So, you know, it make it a little bit easier for me and help me to learn the game because otherwise I'll just get frustrated and basically just get rid of it or not look at it again. So let's jump straight in. The three of you awaken your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the sh shredded starship fall around you, you, mu you start making plans to survive. So that's basically standard for every time you start the game. Okay, and I'm going to pause it as soon as they land. Okay, so we paused it and I'm going to have a quick look around to see what type of place it is. As you'll notice, I actually started without showing you who I picked and what world I created and things like that, purely because I think there's a bug with Alpha 13, where each time I try to start the game while I've got fraps running, it will crash. So, just get that out of the way. The people who have got is Tony, Lumi and Rask. So if we just check this, I think I need to sort this out before I do anything else. Firefight's going to be a 1. Oops, keep going too far. Patient 1. 1. Doctor 1. Bed rest, I'm going to put 1 as well. Flicking is always a 1. Wardening, we've got two people who can do it. Who's got the best skill? 10 and 7. So I'm thinking that this person needs to be our warden and also our handler. Ooh. Let's just check Rask. We are shooting of 3, 2, 13. I mean, Lumi's going to be our hunter, I think, just purely because. Yep. So Lumi is the hunter. Turn that one off because I don't want people to be shot in the back. 6. Although he's got Tony has a bit of passion, it's Tony, it's a girl. So I'm gonna go one for that. Repair, I think I may set them to one as well. Hopefully, you know, they'll come round and repair things. This I'll leave as a three because he um, Lumi has a bit of passion in it. Growing Yep, definitely Lumi. In fact, I'm gonna put that as a two and growing as a one because I want the growing to get done as soon as possible. Or right, mining is going to be Rask. I mean obviously if I put it to a 4 if nothing else needs to be done then they'll do that. Uh, this can be a 2 for everyone. I'm going to knock these off but I will turn them on eventually. Ooh. I don't want everyone to haul when they're not doing In fact I'll put it on a 2 for everyone. Although hauling is very, very important from the get-go. Cleaning can be... In fact, I'll leave it as a 3 for everyone. Researching is going to be Rask. So if we go run through them, Lumi will first off repair or and then grow. Then haul. Then it will go back to hunting, plant cutting, construction, cleaning, then mining. Rask will be... Warden, Handling, Repair, Mine, Haul, Research, that's a whole lot of stuff, Plant Cut and then back to Cleaning. And Tony the Surgeon is going to basically be our Constructor. If there's no construction, there's Repairing, then Hauling, then back to Plant Cut, to Cooking. Ooh, actually, you're going to be a one on the old Cooking. So I think I'll need to knock that up to a 2 as well, yep. And then hauling, sorry, hauling, plant cut, clean, mining. 
hopefully that's a good spread of different things. So where do I want to stay? Or where do I want to basically start off? I need to just make sure that everything is unforbidden first off though. Because we need to make sure that everything gets hauled into the right place. I'm going to struggle to pick all of this out while the guys are stood there. Knife, pistol, and sniper rifle. So I think it was Lumi. She, I mean, it makes more sense because they're a bounty hunter. So I'll equip that. Tony, nope, it's going to be Dane who has the pistol. And Tony, you got a little bit of passion in meleeing, so you can have the knife. Don't forbid all of that stuff. Is there anything else knocking about that I need to unforbid? There is. There um, anything else? Nope, I can't see anything. So, where do I want to start? I am considering either being here or up here. And if I start here, then I want to start mining as soon as possible. So... It's a big decision, really. I know what I'll do. I'll make a wall here. I'll just make the wall here. We can put a bit of a stockpile in here. And then try and do something else. So, structure. Gonna go with wood. It says that I haven't got any, but you've seen that there was some lying around, so... Wood again. Okay, so that's gonna be our first stockpile. Which is zone straight. Stroke area, um, yeah, tone stroke area. I don't know why I'm doing it like this, just needs to do that. This one is going to not allow rotten, it's going to basically allow everything else. Then we're going to have over here, I think, is probably the best place to do it. Dumping, dumping stockpile zone. That's gonna be a bit. Oh, damn it! Just cancel that, which is why. And this bit needs to just be extended. And so that one will hold rotten chunks, corpses, and some weapons. I think as well was included in there. Alright, next up is... what else do we want to do? We want to make sure that we've got some growing going. And Bowen didn't know it. Um, where do we want to put it? If we're going to basically mine into here, I think I need to do the growing zones here. So we're going to do a nice big one. Then do another one here. Oh, damn it. So we delete this bit here. Oh, let's go rid of the lot. So as long as I don't go up to it, it's okay. Um, you know what? Put one here, and then we'll have a little a thinner one. So this one, I'm going to make my heel root. Whatever it is, heel root. This one is going to be potato. This one's going to be rice. And I just, on this one, I just want some trees. So I'm just going to go for a poplar. And I think that should be okay. However, let me just put it, I'll start it going because I want them to start hauling and everything and equipping the weapons and whatnot. We actually got Ebenezer, a, um, a Labrador male Labrador. I want him to learn obedience and hauling, which is going to be really important. Then I'm going to get architect, orders, mining, and the sooner I can get this going the better. Should do like a 7x7. Seven 7x7. Seven. Seven Seven by seven. There. 
there. Oop, not that one. Worst case scenario, I might just use this for a, for a, in fact, let's get this done first. Let's get a wooden, wooden butcher's table for the get, from the get-go, a wooden, oh, just an electric stove then. Not the best position for that, I don't think. Well, I'll place it there because it should be alright for power, electric, it is going to allow me to do it. I'm going to get a solar panel, sorry I'm a bit zoomed out there, I'm going to put two of them. So we've revealed an area but I think it's just this little tiny thing here, yeah it was. So nothing to really write home about really. So Lumi's doing some harvesting of a raspberry brush, which is always good. Then hopefully there's a bit of hauling to be done. I've actually got a geothermal, so if we can like wall off, where can we wall off just to protect ourselves? It's just here really, and then fill this in, and we might be okay then. I sped it up a bit because I want the whole end to get done as soon as possible and then also the building of the different things. Also as well while I think about it we need a battery. Very important. This zone needs to be made bigger again. The Rask is going to town on that which is brilliant. I'm going to say furniture. I'm going to make it bigger eventually, but this is just going to be a little prisoner room for now. Fingers crossed that should be okay. There's a load of wood there now because he's been chopping down, etc. Obviously, I need more than these rooms. Others, mining. Uh, they're gonna still do that one. Uh, I don't mind actually. Is that the first night already? It is as well. Damn it. That was a bit of failing on my part. I should have been a lot quicker there to ensure that we had somewhere to sleep. Oh well. We will sort that in a second. Just need components. Do we have components knocking about? And have I allowed them to pick it up? Silly me. Uh, do we want the books to be shot to bits? Yeah, let's just get them. And also, while I'm thinking about it, what we'll need here is something to cool the place down. Just because there's nowhere else for us to store things at the moment. Tony is building a wooden door. Lumi is sewing hill roots. Rask is going for a walk. Speed her up a little bit more. Set for prisoners. I don't mind Tony doing the building at the moment. I will get round to getting this mining done as soon as possible as well. Oh, 
who is there who's doing our building? Where are you? It's Tony. So what's Tony gonna go to do after doing that? Either cooking or plant cut or hauling. Excellent. So hopefully that should cool down. No. And then all the food and everything that gets hauled into there will be okay. Just try and clear this place out. Failed again on the second night to build them somewhere to sleep. That's awful. Just leave them to do what they're doing for now. You know what, I might just end up putting beds in here. Wooden beds. You know what, they can be uninstalled. So, as long as we do that, and then I'll put a door in as well. Just so that, you know, there's three beds for the three different people. And then we need a sleeping spot. So at least they're indoors, it might be absolutely ugly, but there's something there. We have visitors, a group from a small town at the ridge are visiting the colony. Seem to have a few items as well. Okay, so we'll wait for them to come up and see us. This thing we can deconstruct, get some more components, which is very important. I think this episode's going pretty well at the moment, just purely because we've gone on this um, Phoebe Chillax. It's probably the best one for me at the moment. What else do we need? You know what, this room, what I'm going to do is put in our wooden research bench. Anything else that we can do? We've got our butcher, oh, stupid me. Bills, add bill, butcher creature, forever and ever and ever, amen. This one I'm going to make do simple meals, and for now we can do forever. I'm just going to slow it down. I've got three beds, they're all sleeping indoors now, thankfully. Hello, who is our best social person? That would be Rask. Sorry to wake you up, Rask. Just see what we can get from the get-go. Uh, medicine, we've got 24 of them, or a simple meal for 22, which I don't think I'm going to bother with for now. Maybe next time. So we keep it going nice and fast. We've got plenty of power because we've only got that thing. Hopefully someone's going to start using it, and obviously we need to make sure that we get all our bushes done as soon as possible. 30% grown already. 21%. Trees are obviously going to take a lot longer, but there's a lot of trees around, so I'm not going to complain. So, it wants me to name it. Oh, I think for now, I'm just going to leave it as Crosbyton. That'll do me. I'm not too worried about giving it another name. I'm sure I'll forget what it's called, though. Lumi's still sewing. Okay, once once Lumi's finished with the sewing, she's gonna go hunt. I know I've got her quite a lot to do, haven't I? So maybe we need to give someone else. We're up to Tony. Are oh, you hauling? Cracking job. 
I need, always need someone to haul. And then once we get this, we'll get the stone cutting bench straight away. We've got a mad animal, so let's just slow it down. See where it's coming from. It is a hair by the looks of it, I think. Yep. We'll click hunt. Lumi, recruit you. Come over here. Speed it up for two seconds. And it's down. Good job, Lumi. And we'll unforbid it as well. So I've just I put Tony onto the um onto this just so that he can get sewing as well because I need Lumi to get out there and start getting me some food. Not refrigerated, spoils in thirteen days. I can wait thirteen days. Oh we got obedience on our Labrador now. So we just need that to fill up and we can get him to haul all the time. Um research, so we need a research. We need stone cutting for sure. Then I'll have to turn on the oh, what's it called? Turn on the crafting. That's the one. Just don't know where else I can. Ooh, another steam geyser. I know I'm marking quite a lot to be hauled, but I wanted to get hauled as soon as possible. These things are important to just get out the way more than anything else. Because we want to be able to walk through this area with relative ease. Tony's priority is on cooking. Ooh, indoors is... No, unfortunately. That's not sufficient. Speed her up again. Structures, wooden wall. That ain't gonna work just yet. Space already occupied. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll deconstruct it in a minute and move it over to here. Need defences? Yes, I know I do. I don't know what we're actually cutting, I guess it's the grass or something like that. What's the walk speed on here? 93. Hmm. I'm not too worried about the berries. Was that another bit of obedience? Oh, no, hauling, not obedience. Tony, let's just slow you down a minute. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Tony, where are you going? Haul it. It'll be a lot quicker if you do it that way. Ready to be harvested, so I'm going to mark that to be harvested. Is there anything else up here to be harvested as well? I need to start chopping some trees as well, just to get them out of the way. And also to build up my... Tony, 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 why are you unhappy? A wanderer joins. So we've already got four colonists. This is Hill. He's hunting a book already. Let's see what your 
you know you can be our second doctor patient bed rest flicking warden turn that off turn that off oh you idiot is he gonna win yeah he is unfortunately with a knife you're not gonna be a hunter You can be a whole of them. I know I mean cleaner for now. Alright, what else do we want you to do? We do want you to do some mining, so we'll put there as a four. Repair can be a one. Instruction from can be a three. You know what? You can get involved in the cooking. In fact, and that means that you can slow down on the cooking, you can concentrate on on this. Handling, wardening, we'll leave it to that guy. Crafting is going to be important at some point. Who's our researcher? It's Rask. Build another bed, just for the hell of it. Hill, because you can't do anything else, you're doing that. You can't research. Rask, what are you up to at the moment? You're mining. You're our researcher, so... Let's go for a two. What are you going to do, Rask? Oh, you're hauling wood. And turn hauling onto a two as well because I want the research done as soon as possible. Excellent. Oh, we've got four beds as well. What I might do is well, I'll reinstall there for tomorrow. I made up that he joined. That makes me so happy. It's summer. Oh, I forgot to do this as well, didn't I? So this... Oh, it's indoors. It's minus one now. So maybe that was enough to keep up with what I needed, but I just don't know. I have to just keep an eye on that. Fast walker, chemical interest, so he likes to drink. He's not really got much gear. So I think that's one of the things that we'll need to do at some point. Uh, production. Tailoring. Workbench for tailoring clothes by hand. Although, that's a good point because we haven't got any cotton. I could, ideally, I'd need some cotton to be built. Or to be um, not built, to be... Um, grown. Jesus, couldn't think of the word. So I think I'll put this in, and it's probably a good place to end the episode. So this will definitely be some cotton. So those two guys are going to take care of that as soon as possible. These, This will be growing. These are growing nicely. Oh, this needs to be deconstructed and We've got a raid, so I think it probably is a good place to end the episode just here. Structure, wooden wall, let me put that in while I remember. I'll get that mined out and then I'll move that as well. So, a group of pirates from the Jagged Mosquitoes have arrived nearby. They will prepare for a wild then attack, prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. So, that's what the cliffhanger for the next episode. I'm guessing that because we're on Phoebe Chillax and because it's the first raid, it's just going to be one little pirate that we're going to kill. Well, I hope I'm going to kill him anyway. If you liked the episode, please like it. If you haven't already done so, feel free to subscribe and check out my other videos on my YouTube channel. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.